has been known for being a country for culture and for arts and creativity and in this appalling world that we're living in now of violence and war and hate and famine and AIDS and HIV and all these terrible things, at least as a country we're showing that we have culture and that we're proud of our arts. And I say that culture and arts is the soul of a country. So I'm really proud to be part of that soul of this country and I really, really believe in that. I'm a little bit embarrassed about the tampons that are over in the corner. <laughs> I must admit, I, when we unpacked them, I thought, oh no. But I mean, that was, I made that work, I think, 12 years ago. Uh, yeah, there's lots of things I wouldn't put in my work. And there's a lot of things that I did when I was younger, but I certainly wouldn't do now. Not because of the confidence factor, but because I know the repercussions of what can happen from those results. And I rarely, I mean, I, rarely, I never use people's names in my work anymore, either. So um, I'm much more, um, I'm still very open, but I keep a little bit to myself. That's my dad. That's me. That's my twin brother. That's my grandmother. That's my grandmother's friend. That's my very glamorous mother. It was taken in about 1967 in a, a place called a, a Kizil Jahama in Turkey. Because when we were little, we spent, I'm half Turkish, Cypriot, and we spent a lot of time in Turkey. And this was the village wrestling tournament. <laughs> and I particularly like this photo a lot. But I didn't, and, and the actual raw photo is only this big. So for me to have it blown up to this size and it works, I'm, I'm really thrilled with it. I'm, I love it. And my dad died a year ago today. So um, it's very nice to be standing here with my family and him as well. So there's a fi small film there. It's called Love is a Strange Thing. I had a dream that I was walking over a Japanese bridge. And on the bridge, there was a, a, a German Shepherd dog. And as I walk past the dog, he kind of smiles at me. And he goes, all right, Trace. <laughs> Trace, do you fancy a fuck? <laughs> You're a dog. I can't, I can't, I can't sleep with you. And he all oh, looks all sad and forlorn. And as I walk off, he says, Trace, you of all people, I wouldn't have thought you'd be prejudiced. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a real dream. I can remember when I was up and I was so shocked. Anyway, I thought it's visually, you can see it all. So I booked, I found a, you know, like a dog, a dog acting school, and I, went, I found a perfect German shepherd that smiled. I thought, yeah, that's my dog from the dream. And um, on the day that he was supposed to come to the shooting, he'd had a little, he'd had an operation, and his fur hadn't grown back properly, and he was too shy to go on camera. If you can believe this. <laughs> so they said, look, and I said, well, I've got to do the filming today. It's all set up, you know. And they said, well, we've got another dog. It's all mastiff. We'll bring him along. So the film it doesn't look exactly how I imagined it, and it doesn't look like the dream. But of course, the, the dog in the film is very, very funny, and uh, plays his part well. I think. But of course, it's a metaphor. You know, the dream was telling me something. You know, so that's what it's about. But it's still very funny.